Hello guys, I am Lisa from GemPages. Welcome to the video tutorial series, GemPages 101. This video series is about guiding you using the latest version of GemPages, GemPages version 7. In this first video, I will walk you through the main functions of our new editor and kickstart designing a conversion-optimized Shopify landing page. All right, let's get started. As you can see, GemPages 7.0 remains the user interface and workflow as the previous version. However, this version focuses more on improving the user experience to make the page building process much easier and faster. Many weaknesses in the previous version will be addressed probably in this upgrade. First, we will learn about the element list in the left sidebar. It is still designed with drag and drop basic components such as layout, text, button, image, and product elements. Especially with this upgrade, we redesigned the elements to be more intuitive and easier to recognize, so that you don't have to remember the element's name anymore. Next is the design area. This is the area that allows you to drag and drop elements from the sidebar onto your page. Besides, you can also use our new AI-powered feature, Image to Layout, to generate layouts from a reference image or a URL. I will introduce this feature in more detail in the following videos. Now, I will try to drag a button into the design area. After dragging and dropping the element, we can open the element settings by clicking on the element itself. And boom, the settings will be displayed on the left sidebar. You can easily see that with version 7.0, we have redesigned the interface to make it cleaner and easier to scan and find options. Moving on, we'll get acquainted with the library. This library includes over 80 high converting templates that were researched and pre-designed by the experts at GemPages. In this collection, there are seasonal templates that you can refer to to maximize sales on special occasions. We cover Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's Day, and many more. Also, we have a section library where you can find an eye candy section with just a click. It will help you save your page building time a lot. Now we will try to add a section to the page. Wow, isn't it amazing? Next to the library is the responsive design controls. This area allows you to switch editing on different screen sizes, such as tablet or mobile. You can have comprehensive editing to generate a polished page from every angle. Finally, it's the Publish area. The Publish button allows you to publish your page to the Shopify store. In this 7.0 version, we improved publishing speed by one and a half times faster. It's time to demonstrate what I have guided above. Let's design a demo section. To begin with, I will use the row element to create the layout by choosing a two-column row. I want to add an image, a heading, and a button to this section. To do that, I will click the back button to return to the element list. From the element list, I will drag and drop image to the first column. Next, add heading and button to the other. To make it look better, I can vertically align content by returning to Row Settings and selecting the most suitable alignment. That's it. It is super simple, isn't it? This is the end of the first video in the series, Gem Pages 101. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to learn more fundamental tips and advices to build a store that sells. Thanks for watching.